What's going on guys, Tom and Amazing Kira are back with another video and in today's video guys, we're going to be doing my first impressions on Kosaka Shizuru. So in this video, we're going to go over to her real quick and uh, what we'll do is we'll preview her skills and I'll kind of show you guys what I've like learned off of playing uh, play testing with her. I've done a little bit of testing, um, nothing too crazy. Again, remember this is first impressions of just what I'm like seeing from her. Um, but off the rip, I'll tell you right now. Um, she's probably like one of the better characters in this game. I will say um, just from using her kit and how she feels like right now I think she's probably one of the better characters in the game and maybe even like like a s tier Probably probably like, you know in the higher like echelon of a or even like low s She's really really good man. I, I'm uh, one of the uh, nice characters that we've gotten like uh, fairly recently right so let's go over her kit let's explain what she's able to do and then we'll go over her builds that i've like kind of ran with her um kind of like doing some testing and we'll see how she uh, performs right so let's go to the training area and i'll show you guys every skill and i'll show you how like good each skill is um so let's hop in yes sir so we have this is the first skill right here so uh skyfall dance so it's gonna be your regular like attack uh one where you like knock opponents into the air so you hold and then you attack like this and it's gonna send them into the air you're gonna do a bunch of attacks like that and it does a lot of damage to be fair but i don't think it's gonna be like a really consistent one you want to use on her to be fair like it's just like there um, I don't really like those kinds of skills anyway because when you use it on a boss that like you they can't move You're not gonna be able to knock them. So that skill. I don't really like this skill is pretty good the Queen's whip So you dash into a combo attack here where you go kind of crazy and this is her full green build actually uh, um, For her uh, kit. This is her full green ability. Um, it doesn't show it unfortunate But this is her full green ability and it does a lot of damage considering how powerful green supporters are if you guys don't know Time and it has the most broken like supporters being the green typing and if you have uh, an ability like this where it's like the queen's a whip and you just like attack into the enemy like this it's gonna do so much damage man and it, it does crit for a lot um yeah oh another thing i forgot to mention about Tokyo or not tokyo but shizuru is her attack string is super good like look at how i'm able to like do all that and you see the amount of like area of effect i'm doing i'll show you guys in an actual like fight how good her normal attack string is but it is really good it's it's de definitely one of the better parts of her kit for sure um next thing is going to be the vice grip so if you double dash into the enemy it's going to do like a little knockout if i'm not mistaken i think this is full blue um, this might be full blue or it might be like, you know, a uh, main set. Main set or, uh, you know, one of each, basically. Yeah, uh, whip grip, uh, nothing too crazy. And then we have sprout garden, which is going to be her dodge. So when I get the dodge off, we get a little healing field right here, which is really good, by the way. Um, you know, and also in the future when we get co-op, if it happens, you know, that's going to be a nice, like, you know, team support heal. Because, you know, like, let's say you do a dodge here. Like, okay, attack me, come on. We get the dodge off everyone can just huddle up over here and start healing right um something for a uh, future thought but it, it's a pretty good ability like i'm not gonna lie it, it's, it's definitely good because it gives her healing in her kit and she doesn't really have that right that's good um next ability is going to be the plant evade so if you hold this i think this is her red full red if i'm not mistaken full red or full full blue i'm I, i'm gonna have to check like each of these let me let me go back actually i'm gonna make sure which one it is and then we'll go back into it because i want to make sure you guys know exactly which one it is because i've only gotten uh, like a little bit of testing with them at the moment right um so let's go to her skills so queen's whip was the green one which i was right plan of eight is blue so full blue is this whip grip is gonna be the three set so if you have three set um my mistake on that but the dodge is uh based on your two set and then these are the effects you can get um, so this is full blue and then full red is going to be the AOE. Okay, so we'll get to that. So let's go back into the testing area. And uh, we'll continue showing you guys like what it's about. Um, but yeah, like from, from my first impression so far, she's definitely a really, really good character, man. Uh, so that's pretty good. So let's go with uh, plant wall here. So this is going to be like, it's also another dodge ability, but I think her other ability is going to be a lot better. So we'll wait for the attack. Oh, never mind. Can I get it? Please, like come on hello attack come on man immediately after enemy attack so like that so there you go so it's not a dodge ability but it applies like a little like plant wall there that's gonna do some damage to the enemy nothing too crazy i do like the other dodge ability. i like sprout garden the most so like you know this is before the enemy attack and this one's after enemy attack so you do that and you get the plant wall up so that's pretty cool yeah uh whip shot is gonna be the next one so this one is 
That is her, uh, I think it's just a regular ability. It's not like a full, full blue or full green or anything like that. That's just a regular ability. It's probably like a one set, um, but it is pretty good. Um, as you can see, like when you combo it into an attack like that, the only thing that I don't like about this skill is it like, it keeps me locked in. So I can't move that entire duration of the effect. Like I'm going to try moving. So I'm going to do it. I'm trying to move right now. Like I'm trying to dash out and I can finally dash out there. So that's like how long that skill keeps you locked in. I don't think that skill is going to be too great, but because, it, you know, it, it does a lot of damage, it's going to, you know, it kind of suffice for you not being able to move there. Um, next one is going to be her timing art. So it goes from, okay, like, let me show you guys the normal. So it goes from this. Alright, it goes from this. Then it goes to, uh, let me see it here, this. So you get super armor at the end of it, by the way, which is really good. So it does that, and then it, it gives me super armor, which is really good. And I think, I think if I'm not mistaken... Um, let me read it. It's either it gives me super armor or it lowers the enemy super armor. It was something like that. Um, from what I remember. Let's go into her kit real quick and check that. Um, yeah, so last attack changes and super armor is applied. So it increases damage by 10%, increases damage by 20%, and then particle amount increase. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. Right. Um, yeah, going back into it, we have one more, uh, yeah, one more skill after that is going to be the red one, and then I can show you guys some gameplay of each build, and uh, kind of show you guys how powerful she can be um, on each build. I think her best build, though, is definitely going to be green, because um, I've been running this right here, and it's really, really good. But uh, I'll show you guys when we actually get into the into the gameplay how powerful she is, and I'll show you what I have on her as well, like and just to give you guys an idea of how strong she can be because of, how, of what I have on her, because I don't really have a lot. Right, so this is going to be the uh, Rose Rondo, so if you go close to the enemy, right, and you hold that, it's going to do an AoE effect of just like a spinning AoE ability, and it's going to do a, pre a pretty good chunk of damage. Um, it is the full red ability, so if you're running full red, you're going to be able to do that, and kind of chain that into like a combo right there, you go like that, you know, and then you just do that. So something like that could work, but yeah, those are going to be her skills, and then this is going to be her 81 skill, so if you do get her 81, um, I don't think it's going to be a necessity, but it does uh, uh, stagger the enemy there and make them uh, stunned. So yeah, that's basically the overview of uh, um, Kosaka Shizuru's skills, and now let's actually hop into a build of each type with her, because um, there are some uh, pretty good builds you can run with her. Um, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll show you guys my build I have right now. I'm um, just off the rip. So this is the full green build I'm using. It's it is you know obviously like these supporters you're probably not gonna have all of them, but like generally full green supporters are good because you have characters like um, uh, Sakuragi uh, Suruga um, that gives you crit rate crit damage, and then you have like Kaworu which is free to play at the beginning of the game which gives you crit damage for all attacks. So like green just in general gives you so much crit and crit damage. And this is the setup that I'm running right now because I don't have another weapon for her. Because when I bought her, I only got the UR. So I'm running this and then I have uh, damage dealt on all my Magatamas here. So nothing too crazy. Just your standard attack setup. And uh, yeah, and then for the skills, you guys know I'm running Queen's Whip, uh, Sprout Garden for the heals, and then we also have the Timing and Art Thorn Rose. So let's hop in and I'll show you guys what she can do because I was just leveling her up on Prologue. Um, so we'll do Normal on Section 1. And uh, we'll do it five times. We'll, we'll show you guys what the green like build looks like. So the green build is uh, is pretty nice. Yes, sir. That's her little intro too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Let's uh, show you guys her attack string. This is why I believe her attack string is so good. By the way, look at the amount of AOE it has. Like I was able to kill all these enemies. I didn't even need to use an ability. Like the AOE on her attack is so good. Like I'm hitting all those enemies at once. And there isn't like uh there isn't like anything like bad about it, you know? Like it's just like a really good AoE ability. It does good damage. It's kinda ranged too, so the enemies are not like up in my face. That they're like kinda ranged. So um from what I'm seeing, it's like a really good ability, man. Um but yeah, and then let me use the uh, green ability on Yukikaze here. So if I dash into her, I can do the Queen's Whip, so that's gonna be a lot of crits right there. And uh, yeah, we do that and we actually stun Yukikaze there. And then if I dodge from her attacks, I can get Spell Garden up, but we already killed. Like, that, that's how quick it can be when you have full green like that, bro. It's crazy. The full green is super powerful. Yes, sir. So that's uh, Shizuru right there. Fairly, fairly cool. Um, and then I'll show you guys uh, her with a red build now. We'll, you know, we'll mix it up. I'll use some different skills as well um, to kind of show you guys what it's about. Um, but let's go over here. And we'll switch the uh, skills. Okay, so I'll switch the skills. I'll cut uh, and I'll edit this because I don't want to like show you guys like all my like process. Um, we'll cut to when I have it edit, uh, like uh, switched out um, to like the red build, and then we'll go to the blue build. 
All right, so we got the setup here for the uh, Shizuru here on full red. So we're going to be running these three supporters here. I actually do have uh, Shizuru's original, like, uh, you know, limited supporter. So that's pretty cool. So it's going to increase crit rate of suppressed type characters by 13% and increase damage dealt to debuffed enemies by 13% as well. It's very, uh, fairly good for her specifically because she is, you guys don't know, a suppressed type character. So she's going to get that bonus. Um, yeah, and then these are the skills I'm deciding to run. Uh, I think I'll switch timing and art as well because we already showed that off. I'll switch to uh, uh, whip grip. That's fine. We'll run this for now and we'll hop in. So we'll do the same stage because uh, I don't want to do anything too hard. Um, just to show you guys like the damage comparison. Um, you know, like full red in comparison to full green, I don't think is as good. It, it feels pretty strong too, but you know, in general, like she's I think is just gonna like perform super well regardless. Like whatever build you are running, like she's just gonna perform super well. Like look at that AoE. That AoE was really good. Just one shotting everyone like that, right? really good and then like let's take a hit here so we can do the 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 wall right so we do that and that that wall is going to do a lot of damage as well like look at that man shizuru is so good uh from my testing man she is really really good um i'm liking her for sure but, and her attack string oh my gosh so good like ah, bro i i'm there's no words she's actually just like a, a good character like we, we've been needing this in timing for a while man like because we got like what noah brown which wasn't really that crazy we had tokiko which wasn't too crazy astroth was a fairly good unit too but i don't think astroth is as good as shizuru honestly like i think shizuru is probably better than astroth um but maybe not on par with like emily per se but you know could be good right but yeah, no, the damage on the AoE on the full red is really good. You know, she has the, the whip grip, which is pretty good too. Um, I think red build is a fairly decent build as well. So let's switch to blue and then uh, we'll wrap up the video after that. I just wanted to go through like each build and kind of show you guys like what's like doable with her. Uh, but generally, I think like your full green and full red will be good. Uh, but yeah, I'll cut and then we'll get to the part where I have my full blue setup, and then we'll talk about that and hop into the actual fight. All right, so we got the supporters set up here for full blue. This is what we're going to be running. We're going to be running uh, Amane, uh, Fumo Amane main, and then we have a uh, Fuyumi and then Murasaki supporter, right? And then we're running, this is the build right here, just to show you guys like the other skills as well. Skyfall Dance, Plant Invade, and then Whip Shot. So these are going to be the abilities. Um, it's going to be the one where you do the jump attack. We have the Plant Invade, which is going to be the hold ability. And then Whip Shot is going to be the one where she dashes in and does the spinning ability. So I'll show you guys all three of those abilities in the fight. And uh, we'll see how well she can perform. I think generally though, like uh, when using Shizuru, um, I think her definitely her best is going to be green. Like after all my testing. I think green is still her best because green is a broken uh, like typing. But red is I think is up there too with the spin. I think overall she's just like really good man. She just she really is just like an overall good character. Which, you know, we don't really see often on timing and like that. Cause they, I don't know what they're what it is with their like balance where they make characters just like super good and then other characters are just super, you know, underwhelming. Um there's not a lot of really good characters like that, man. But yeah, that's her blue ability, is not the greatest, like you know, from the damage there. But that's just the fault of blue supporters not being good in general. Um green is definitely the best, and then red being second best, and then probably uh blue at the last though. But uh in general, like you know, that's not gonna be uh, the fault of Shizuru herself, it's kind of just the fault of the supporters being not the greatest, right? But yeah, moving in to the uh, boss here. To the Yuki, Yuki Kaze. And let's see if I can even do the, the jump attack on her. If I do the... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. You see, that's her jump attack ability. But that's why I don't like it. Because it is, when you're fighting a boss like that, you're not going to be able to get it off, right? That's when I think it's not really uh, the greatest. But, uh, yeah, and let me do that. Can't invade. Oh, got me slowed. Shit, that's not good. To try and dodge. Ah! I'm getting attacked by Yuki Kaze going crazy. Okay, calm down. I'm so slowed. That's so annoying. Okay. And if I have the uh, healing ability, that'd be really good right now. But we do not. Do the spin. Okay. Can we do dodge out? Yeah, I, bro, why does Yuki Kaze slow me down, bro? That is so annoying. Can I get my speed up? Please fix, fix, fix. Keep up, run out, run out, run out. There we go. Oh my god, and then she instantly slows me. That is so crazy, bro. There we go. That's her plant invade. There's 48k there. Not bad. I mean, that's decent. And then this is her ultimate, by the way. We finally got to get it off. But, uh, there we go. And she jumps into the screen like that. That's pretty cool. I will say. Oh, 
Yeah, that's gonna be it for the video guys. I just wanted to go over the uh, general kit of Shizuru and give you guys my first impressions My first impressions are that she is easily one of the best characters in the game Um, I will say right um definitely one of the best characters that I've used like recently and like the past like recent characters Like if I go to my box here and kind of go over the the most recent characters we've gotten um Noah Brown, Tokiko, Astroth are like the three fairly fairly recent characters we've gotten in the game and i think shizuru is probably the best of those four like if we're really talking about it like as a unit um shizuru is probably the best one of these four that released um in the past like six months right like shizuru is one of the better characters in the game i would say she probably falls short to like murasaki and, and emily simmons but we'll have to see after more testing obviously this is first impression so you know um my you know my view of her could change but we'll have to see man so that's my that's my take on it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this on the time in channel definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next action time in video peace out and have a great rest of your day